Across the Great Lakes Basin, there's been an effort to return rivers to their natural states by removing aging dams. Hi, I'm Lorraine Boissonneau with Great Lakes Now. Today I'm talking to Tony David. He's the director of the St. Regis Mohawk Tribes Environment Division, and in that role he helped orchestrate the removal of the dam in Hogansburg, New York. Tony, welcome to Great Lakes Now. Hi, thank you. So I guess to start, can you tell me a little bit about the dam removal process and uh, how long it took for that to happen? Well, it was a, about a seven year process and it started um, when the operating dam was up for relicensing with the Federal Energy Re Regulatory Commission. One of the things that we learned during the relicensing process of the dam is that the single turbine within the powerhouse was damaged. And so that facility would need a significant overhaul. And we're talking about millions of dollars of improvements just to get the dam fully operational again. Um, but also there were improvements uh, for environmental considerations such as fish passage. So it, it looked like just to get another operating license from the, the federal government, um, it would require millions of dollars of improvements at this facility. Uh, and to the cost of removing the dam was only uh, um, 1.5 million. So clearly it, there was a both a win-win for um, economic reasons and for environmental reasons. So that was in 2016 that the dam was fully decommissioned and came out and the river was flowing as naturally, correct? Correct, yeah, we started physical removal in July and we uh, wrapped up by the first week of December. So in the four years since then, what have been the changes that you've seen in the river? Well, it's been it's been great to see the natural flow regime restored to the river. Um, ultimately, the goal was to improve uh, the river habitat quality uh, and also to reconnect the downstream St. Lawrence River um, with the St. Regis River and and ultimately re restored about over 500 river and stream miles of habitat. Um, and we've monitored fish movements. Uh, we've been able to detect of fish like like walleye, which is not a really strong swimmer, but um, walleye have been able to move miles upstream where there is incredibly good quality uh, viable habitat for them to spawn on. And so um, those improvements, um, we're just now starting to, to put together some of the scientific information that documents that. So since the dam has come down, what has been the community response to it? Has it been mostly positive? Have there been any other concerns about flooding or um, how the watershed might be changed? Overall, the, the response from the community has been um, immensely positive. And I mean, we've restored um, some of the natural beauty of the St. Regis River. Um, there is now a, 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 the, a beautiful uh, riffle and cascade um, in the spot where it was really just uh, a forgotten um, uh, industrial site. Um, and now people go there and they can enjoy the fish resources, they can enjoy the, the natural beauty of the river. Um, and it's a source of pride for a lot of community members because you know, we used to have to drive great distances to see uh, a, a rapid section on the river, but now we have it right here on the territory. And um, the impacts you know, post removal are, are pretty modest um, and the, the changes, but, but those are things that people get used to. And um, a lot of people upstream of the dam are actually very fairly thankful because with the dam removed, it has actually reduced their flood risk to a lot of uh, big ha heavy rain events. So, you know, all around, I think that, that the, the reaction from uh, the community and tribal members has been immensely positive. And I'm curious, I think there's been slightly more conversation than in the past about uh, dam infrastructure, especially with the dam that broke in Michigan. Um, have you heard from any other tribes in the region or elsewhere who are interested in how your experience was um, with this project? The uh, dam removal as a restoration is something that is gaining a lot of momentum nationally. And it's important that we evaluate these structures because um, every piece of infrastructure has a lifespan. And so we either need to plan for its eventual removal or, you know, we or we could be faced with a catastrophic event such as the one in Michigan. So, um, you know, across the nation, we have we have a problem with dams. And in the state of New York, there are more than 6,000 dams. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, um, but it's important to know um, 
what's at stake and what the risks are going in because it's a very these are very complicated projects and a lot of things can go wrong so it's important that you have um, the studies that are in place and so you can make informed decisions about them. Uh, Tony David, director of the St. Regis Mohawk Tribes Environment Division, thank you so much for joining me. You can find out more about what we talked about today at greatlakesnow.org. When you get there, you can follow us on social media or subscribe to our newsletter to get updates about our work. See you out on the lakes.